Yo, what is going on everybody? I am your host, Sockers Gaming, bringing you the announcement of our, not my, because I think in the title of the video, in the thumbnail, I put my, because, okay, so I gotta explain that real quick. So last time I announced a tournament I was doing, uh, some people were confused, they thought it was like an official Nintendo thing, and I don't want any confusion this time. But um, this is our DLC character tournament. I will go over all the participants in just a second. So first of all, I have to, you know, just kind of address the video I made. What was that yesterday? Uh, kind of saying, should we cancel the Echo Fighter tournament? All right. Uh, but should we cancel that? Or, you know, should we carry on? Overwhelming majority of the people that commented said, let's just cancel it. Move to a DLC character tournament instead. There were a few people that said continue with the Echo Fighter tournament, but, you know, just give people, you know, anybody who was deconfirmed, just remove them from the tournament and everybody else would just get a buy. I'm not a fan of that because, hey, I'd, I'd like people to earn their stuff. You got to earn it. So, um, besides, it was a whole mess. There was a lot of characters and it kind of took away from the, the specialty of the Echo Fighters plus... With Sakurai kind of saying, hey, no more Echo Fighters. We're pretty much... Any DLC characters are probably going to be just uh, built from scratch, unique characters. So, yeah, uh, Echo Fighter Tournament is done. Uh, it was fun while it lasted, at least, you know. But, um, yeah, we got to move on to the DLC character tournament. And, again, thank you to everybody who commented, um, stating your opinion one way or the other. It was truly uh, very cool to see, and uh, I'm glad you guys are kind of, you know... Felt like how I did, so, um, yeah, and then also your suggestions for characters and all that stuff. So, let's jump into this real quick. I'm going to go over each of the participants in this tournament, and then I'm going to give you just a, you know, quick little glimpse of the overall bracket. The tournament starts this upcoming Monday, so two days from now, Monday the 5th, November, that is when it starts. Pretty much could be the same rules, but I'll go over all that stuff. So let's jump into it. Let's look at the seeding. And don't read too much into the seeding, but I kind of put seeding by how I think maybe characters seem more likely. Or maybe who I think has the better chance. I don't know. I, I, I still think I may be rearranging them, but I I'm just going to keep them how the ranks are. So, or the seedings are. So here they are. 30 total characters are in this tournament. 30. I was trying, I was initially thinking maybe 24, but then you guys were giving a couple more suggestions that I was like, actually, you know what, let's add that. And towards the, the bottom part of this, I got to explain a few of the characters, because I said, no, uh, any character that's already playable, obviously, is not eligible for this. No assist trophy characters, no Pokemon characters, but I'll get to that in the final four characters. Um, but let's go over. So, Bandana Waddle Dee. Was not shown as a sticker or a spear. No, that was Waddle Dee. Two different characters. One's got a bandana and a spear. The other doesn't. But um, uh, easy. It's a first party character. First parties are easier to put in the game than third parties. I'm not going to give a, a huge rundown for all these characters. But first parties I think are easier. Although I do think third party characters might be the majority of the DLC characters that we're going to see. Because... I think that just builds up more hype and more sales for DLC, you know, and, and that stuff helps out Nintendo a bit more. So, but yeah, I, I still think Bandana Waddle Dee was one of the first, one of the few, uh, like actual characters that uh, I really believe kind of survived Sakurai's wrath, if you want to put it like that. And so I got Bandana Waddle Dee number one seed. But moving on, Steve Minecraft. Again, you might not like the character, and if you don't, you don't have to vote for him. That's pretty simple. But uh, for Minecraft, heavily rumored to be, you know, you know, Minecraft content in some way. Steve possibly being that, you know, character could essentially happen. Sure, I'm more of a, I'd rather see Banjo as a Microsoft rep than Steve, but different discussion. Just my opinion. But moving on, let's speed this up just a bit. So uh, we got Dixie Kong, Banjo Kazooie. Rayman, Sora, Gino, Shanta, yes, stickers, stickers, spirits, whatever you want to call them, they are eligible, and there was a lot of people, 
that uh, voted for um, you know a few of the stickers. Shantae especially, quite a bit of uh, support. Oh, and a quick note: my other tournament, the potential newcomer tournament, I'm still doing that on Tuesday. The the, the championship match is still happening on Tuesday. I'm not going to cancel it now. It's one match left. It's the biggest match. Still don't know who Shantae is facing because I haven't even looked at the votes. I won't look at that till like Monday night. But that is still happening. Just want to let you guys know that's still happening. But uh, moving on. So yeah, Gino Shantae. I got Monster Hunter in here. I think Monster Hunter's got a pretty decent chance. Uh, you know, third party wise, it would make sense. Uh, let's keep going here. Paper Mario, another first party character that uh, at least. I mean, even if he was a sticker or a spirit, oh well. I, I didn't personally see it, and I still think Paper Mario's a decent, or has a decent chance for this uh, DLC that Nintendo's going to do. And I really hope there's going to be more than five. I hope they kind of break it, they might break it down into like a couple different packs. You know, like Fighter Pass 1 is just going to be these five, and then maybe they do another Fighter Pass, you know, 2 with another five, six characters, something like that. We'll see. That'll, you know, we'll find out in the future. But uh, moving on. Edelgard from uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yes, you might think there's too many Fire Emblem characters, but you can't deny the, the fact that it's a future game. Great way to, for Nintendo to promote their game is putting, well, one of those characters from that game into Smash Bros. as promotional material. You know, Fire Emblem is a very big series for um, Nintendo, and I can see this one absolutely happening. Plus, I think... Majority of people think Edelgard is like the, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her name. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure majority of people think that would be the leading candidate. Uh, some people are like, well, what if she's a sword user? I think they could use like an axe moveset kind of, at least she would be different from the sword users in Fire Emblem. You know, give her an axe kind of moveset. But again, separate topic, we could dive into that, but we won't. Let's continue with the rest of these. We got Erdrick from uh, Dragon Quest. I think that's a series that's, that needs to be looked at more as a legit contender for DLC. Just my opinion. Elma, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Because Rex and Pyro... Or at least Rex seems deconfirmed because of his me outfit. And... I mean, Pyro was a, a sticker spirit thing. But it, if Rex is not going to be playable, I don't think Pyro will be. So that's why that... Uh, one of my sleeper picks for DLC, Ryu Hayabusa. I think, you know, kind of that last, you know... Major character from the NES, SNES kind of era. Ryu Hayabusa would be actually really cool to incorporate into the game. Again, why would you have two Ryus? Well, you can have Ryu from Street Fighter. The announcer would just be like, Ryu! And then, you know, Hayabusa. Um, you click on him and his name and the announcer would just say, Hayabusa! Just kind of like how it is in the Dead or Alive series. So, you could just, you know, differentiate their, their names at least on the character selection screen. Um, let's see, moving on, we got a Gen 8 Pokemon. Who is it? I don't know. We don't have any information on Gen 8. Um, so yeah, just Gen 8 Pokemon in general, that's also a highly good, you know, p probability that a Gen 8 Pokemon happens again. Future Nintendo game, good way to promote it. Same thing as Edelgard. Same thing, Gen 8. But then moving on, we got a bunch of third parties now. Crash Bandicoot, Hayachi from Tekken, Lloyd Irving, yes, when talking about DLC in the past, I've always kind of forgotten about Lloyd, but Lloyd might be a legit contender. He might be a legit contender. But uh, we also got Tails, Spyro, Master Chief might be kind of a, a stretch, but I, he could still be a contender, I think. Uh, Dr. Eggman, Slime from Dragon Quest, because arguably Slime is more the face of Dragon Quest, you could say. But um, And then we got a couple first parties. Chorus Kids... Silux again, same thing as Gen 8 and Edelgard. It's a future game. Silux is for Metroid Prime 4, and, you know, a good way to promote that, put the character into Smash. Yes, I've said that three times now. And then, uh, so Silux and then Mock Rider. Now, you look at the last four characters, Waluigi, Isaac, Shadow, and Skullkid, and go, wait a minute, I thought you said no assist trophies. I put these in here because I had a commenter I apologize, don't remember your name. I should have, like, looked at that. My bad, my bad. But commenter said, how about for the last couple slots, kind of like, you know, they might not be the most likely for DLC, but there's still a chance maybe uh, assist trophy promotion characters. And I like that idea, which is why I'm putting Waluigi, Isaac, Shadow, and Skull Kid. I'd say those are the most 
likely. And again, they would all these are unique move sets. Sure, Shadow might set, share some similarities to Sonic, but there are definite differences between the two. Um, up B, obviously a teleport instead of the spring jump. They're, they're, I can get into that once Shadow's matchup comes up, you know, just to kind of point out one way or the other. But here we go. These are the 30 characters. So that means, like I said, I wanted to show the uh, the bracket, give you guys a bit of it. I'm actually, this is the first time I'm going to look at it because these are the uh, 30 participants. So what do we have? What What is the bracket even going to look like, honestly? 30 characters. That's a... It's, a, it's an even number, but it's an odd way to make a match. So here we go. All right, round one. Looks like Bandana Waddle Dee gets a bye. Okay, but um, first game, Crash Bandicoot and Hayachi. Okay, Shantae and Silux. All right, I think uh, Silux is going to have a rough time right out the gate. <laughs> uh, Monster Hunter and Chorus Kids. Banjo-Kazooie and Shadow. Woo! Wow, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Elma and Spyro, Rayman and Isaac, Oof. Erdrick and Master Chief, Gen, oh, it looks like Steve also got a buy, uh, Gen 8 Pokemon and Lloyd Irving, Gino Mock Rider, Paper Mario Slime, oh my god, these are good matchups, Dixie Kong, Skull Kid, Ryu Hayabusa Tails, Sora and <laughs> Waluigi, ouch, <laughs> Uh, Sora, Waluigi, and then looks like Edelgard and Dr. Eggman is going to be the final match for round one. Again, real quick on the rules. I will go over all the rules in every matchup. It's the uh, same thing. One vote per person. You vote for the person in that matchup for who you personally would like to see as the Ek or not an Echo Fighter, but as a DLC character for the matchup. So uh, first matchup. It's going to be Crash Bandicoot and Hayachi, so you would vote. Again, the matchup will happen Monday, but as an example, you vote either Crash Bandicoot and Hayachi. You could say why down in the comments, you know, that you would rather have that character, but that's how it's going to work. Here's the bracket. There's a brief glimpse of uh, what's coming up. There's, oh my god, Banjo-Kazooie. That one stands out so much to me. Rayman and Isaac. Oh god, Gen 8, Lloyd Irving. That could be a really good matchup, honestly. Dixie Kong and Skull Kid, Sora and Waluigi, because well, <laughs> Waluigi fan. Oh my goodness! All right, this should be a really good tournament. I can't wait. Again, gonna start Monday. Look forward to it then. Again, thank you to everybody who gave your opinion one way or the other. If we should cancel the Echo Fighter tournament, or and well, like I said, majority, you know, huge majority of people said, yeah, let's cancel it and do this. So. Here it is. Here's the bracket. Starts on Monday. I just wanted to let you guys know. Here's the announcement. The DLC character tournament is about to start. Whew, this one should be good. Again, vote for who you would want to see as a DLC character. A lot of these matches, I think, are going to be very difficult. I'm a, I'm very excited to start this. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Even though, you know, some of these characters are... Yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll get to that later. I'll get to that later. But anyway, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are looking forward to this DLC character tournament. And uh, yeah, Monday can't get here soon enough to start this. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you again for suggestions and your opinions. It does help a lot. It does mean a lot to me personally. So thank you again. Thank you. But uh, yeah, that is it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully we catch you guys on the next upload. Peace out, everybody.